California Democrats are working hard to undo Proposition 13, a decades-old law that protects homeowners and businesses. One America's Pearson Sharp explains how the state's attorney general is trying to confuse voters into supporting billions of new taxes every year. California Democrats are trying to push through new legislation that threatens both homeowners and small businesses. For the last 40 years, Proposition 13 has protected Californians from skyrocketing property taxes. But now, the far-left Attorney General Javier Becerra wants to get rid of it. One America News spoke with Aaron Cruz, CEO of RAN Action Fund and a Tea Party Republican, who has also successfully launched a petition to recall Governor Gavin Newsom. What are your thoughts on Javier Becerra's efforts to get rid of Prop 13? He's going to price out Californians, people who are um, retired, veterans, working class Americans, even the working poor, the middle class now here in California, they're not going to be able to afford to buy homes. Um, it's going to be part of the haves and have nots. And people are going to have to make that choice. They're going to leave the state. Back in the 1970s, homeowners were being priced out of their homes, facing explosive property taxes of 50 to 100 percent every year. After a tax revolt, Prop 13 mandated that properties can only be taxed at 1% of their market value. Yet eager for more tax dollars, Sacramento Democrats are passing around legislation that would repeal the protections of Prop 13, costing California homeowners and businesses thousands of dollars extra every year. For Javier Becerra to go and move towards getting rid of Prop 13, We've always already weighed in here in the state of California what we want in terms of our property taxes and other things. Listen to the people. What he's doing is wrong. What he is doing is wrong. If the state legislature wants something changed, they need to do it the right way. If the people want that uh, policy change, they need to do a ballot measure and do it the right way. But that's not what Javier Becerra is doing. Instead, he's created a new piece of legislation to radically alter Prop 13, dramatically hiking taxes on business properties and hitting Californians with another $12.5 billion in new taxes. And those increased costs mean even if you're not a property owner, renters and consumers will still be hit with soaring rents and higher prices for everything we buy in the state. But even though residents shot down the first attempt to dismantle Proposition 13, Javier Becerra tried again, this time changing the name of his proposal so it didn't even include the word taxes. Javier Becerra has changed the name, the title and summary of his effort to change Prop 13 to education and local government funding. Mm -hmm. What's your response to that? Why would he do that? What he's doing is a mass manipulation and, and government of all things should be transparent to the point succinct and representative of what these initiatives are. And I think that's what um, Javier Becerra is doing right now. He's offering people a title and summary that is appealing. It shouldn't be appealing. It should be representative of the legislation. Education is one of the biggest challenges to defeating legislation like this. And Cruz says unless the people are aware of what's being done to them, politicians like Becerra will continue to erode our quality of life here in California. But there's still hope. The measure isn't on the ballot yet, and Becerra still needs to collect nearly a million signatures for the new tax to qualify for the November 2020 elections. That's something Cruz says can't be allowed to happen. Pearson Sharp, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.